Hi, and welcome to the first introduction to using React Router. These are going to be a series of tutorials, um, short coverings of a book that I'm currently writing, and details will come into the top of the screen right now on that. Um, what I want to do is give you a, an overview of what React Router is, uh, version 4, the brand new version, and show you how to use it, how to implement it. So let's get straight into it. I've created a React application using a Create React App plugin, which is a new Git package that you can pull down. Sorry, an NPM package. Sure, I've been living in the .NET world for a bit. Um, what you're able to do is you're able to run on the command line, um, Create React App, and then the name of your app, and do um, NPM uh, Start, and the application opens up and is running. And at that point, there's a few things um, set up for you. Uh, for instance, hot reloading, where you can change it and the, the file changes. So there's there's lots of good stuff in there. But if you want to create a React app quickly, um, you can use Create React app to, to be up and running within a couple of seconds. It's awesome. So I highly recommend you check that out. Link coming to you at the top now. So let's get started. What we need to be able to do is first install a React Router. So what I'm going to do is just close this down because I'm running the app at the moment. Um, again, install React Router. We need to make sure we use the next generation. And I'm just going to save it as dependencies. Right, perfect. At that point, we now have uh, the new Alpha version 6, which is the latest version we have right now for the React Router. We can see there's a couple of dependencies that's also pulled down. Um, one of them is called History. Uh, that's a, a vital part of the React Router. It actually does quite a good chunk of the um, dealing and manipulating of the browser to actually get it to, to stay still whilst moving around in, within a spare. So let's do the first step and let's um, fire up our code editor. For this, I'm just using Visual Studio Code, which I'm getting along with really nicely recently. Um, yeah, I'm finding it really easy to play with. Um, we need to import the React Router within to our main application. So at the moment, I'm going to do that within the uh, app itself, within an index. So for that, we import uh, React Router. And we're going to use the browser router. Uh, React Router has a number of different routers. Um, but at the moment, we're going to be using the, the browser version. So for this, we just need to wrap our full application within a router so that everything within it has got access to this information. If we refresh, then we should hopefully have a, a full running app. If I start it up again, that is. Remember, I had to stop it to order, in order to install the package. That should be up and running again. Now that we have the router and it's connected to the browser, um, what we need to be able to do now is create some routes. If you're used to other routing tools, other routing um, systems, then you'll be used to creating a routing table. Now, React Router version 4 has got a different philosophy. It's using React. It uses the built-in React components and the React philosophy on how to actually render things. Um, what I want to do is show you through match and, and what it is that it does. Now, in order to use match, we have to import this in. And we can import it in just from the uh, base of the React router. Um, call it match. Make sure you put your brackets around so we can pull in that um, exported module. And now we can use match as a standard component. Um, so what I'm going to do here 
is actually go into the app now. So actually what I'm going to do, sorry, is I'm going to take this out because I don't want to mess with this file itself. What I want to be able to do is go into app and actually uh, manipulate this file. So we're going to include match into this. And what we're going to do is just update this so that we have a, a matching rule. So I'm going to put a match in. Um, the way it works is just like a, a, a regular expression is that if the URL starts with about, then it will render the about component. Now we don't have a, a about component, so I'm just going to write one in at the moment. So I've created a, an about us component, really simple, just going to show about us on the screen. And what we do now is now we've got this match. If we go to the about us page, then that reg that URL will match that pattern. Um, it has got about in there. So when we go to it, we can actually see that the about us um, is displaying. We can see that this top is also showing because this is something that's always there. And we have an about us. Um, if we was to have three, then we would actually see three about us because that's what's matching. So you can see that there really isn't the need for a routing table as such, because as long as we have the right pattern that right displays the right component, we're OK. What I'm going to do is just show you a few different pages, uh, create a few different components and show you how we can have a website in seconds. OK, so I've created a few components, really simple. I've got a standard home the about us, a contact and a frequently asked questions component. Remember, I'm saying component, but we could use the word page interchangeably. Uh, what I want to do now is just add the matches. So I'm going to take the matches out and I'm going to put it in this uh, create react router template. But what I'm going to do is just take these and just update the, the page. So I want um, We've got about contact us, and that's going to load the contact contact us template uh, component rather. Shouldn't use the word template. Uh, FAQ, FAQ, and the component is going to be the FAQ. So now when I go to the FAQ page, hopefully I see the FAQ bit. When I go to the About Us, as we had a second ago, I should see the About Us bit. When I go to the Contact Us, I should see the Contact Us. Perfect. So we've got a three-page website that we can charge someone a few bits of pennies for, and it took us a few minutes to do. Uh, what I can do is we're missing a home page as well. So what I'll do is have a home page and I'll render home. And we should notice something quite curious with this. Uh, we should be able to see that actually on the contact us page, we're getting the home page. On the about us page, we're getting the home page. Now, the reason for that is because it matches that pattern. We have got a forward slash. We've got forward slash about but it matches them two patterns. So it's true, it works for them. So in order to solve that problem, uh, we have a prop called exactly. And I had to go and look it up because I always call it exact. I'm sorry about that. Um, and it's called exactly. And hopefully that should solve that problem. So yeah, perfect. On the about us now, we've just got the about us page. Uh, if we go to the home page, then we can see the, the home page. The exactly is saying match this exact pattern and don't use like a like or continue um, checking the other expressions. It's got to be exactly that uh, and nothing else. And that's it. We've got React Router set up. We have some uh, routes in there. And you can see that there is no routing table. We're just dealing with React components. Match is a component. And the um, home is obviously a component, so we can just deal with that. In the next part, what I want to do in the next video is to show you how to create a navigation. Um, you can see at the moment that I was just actually using the URL to navigate around the site uh, and know what the, um, the pages are 
you couldn't expect a user to be able to do that. So we need